Hi everyone, this is a training tutorial on how to use Talus Business Connect desktop app. This is what your app looks like once you are able to log in. On the left panel, uh, on top left, you'll see your profile picture. Below that, there will be all the features included with Business Connect. In bottom left, there is settings. On top right, there is option for dial pad. And beside that, there is plus sign for new actions. This is what your screen looks like uh, when you select the dial pad. So here, you can just, when you select the dial pad, you can simply enter the name of your colleague or you can enter 10 digit phone number where you are calling. You don't have to press number one or nine or any digit. Okay, so let's start making a call. And this is what your active screen looks like. Thank you for calling Wireless System Solution. Okay, so while on the active screen, you have option to put yourself on mute. You can select the dial pad and enter the extension number if you need to. Select the audio option and you can change your microphone source, speaker source or adjust your volume. You can select add option and you can get someone on a conference call. So say if I if I call my colleague Arun, I can talk to him, I can tell him, hey uh, Arun, do you mind joining this call, uh, call with me? Uh, if he says yes, I can merge him. If he says no, I can end that call, okay? If I need to put someone on hold, I can just press hold option and customer, they will hear the music, hold music. If I select more, I can put someone on, uh, I can transfer the uh, call, I can record a conversation, or I can put person on the park. If I select transfer option, I can enter the name of my colleague, I can make internal transfer or external transfers as well. If I enter extension number or enter the name of my colleague, I can uh, make internal transfer. If I enter 10 digit phone number, I can make external transfer, okay? So if I select Arun's name, I have three options. Ask first, transfer into voicemail. With ask first, I get to speak with my colleague before I actually transfer the call. With second option, I don't get to speak with them. It's a blind transfer. And with third option, call just goes directly to that person's voicemail. With first option, the person to whom you transfer a call, they see your caller ID. With second option, they see a caller ID of actual caller. Okay, and if you select more and select record option, that conversation from that point will be recorded and the customer, they will get a message that this call will be recorded. So if you are planning to record a conversation, please make sure you do tell them prior to. Okay, and if you do have a company-wide hold feature, which is part location set up for your desk phones or for all users, then you will be able to use park feature. You simply select park and you have the option to put that person on any of the uh, available parks. Next, I will show you how to use different features with Business Connect. If your plan is voice plus, you will have most of these features except text and video conference calling and audio conference calling, okay? So Voice Plus users will have pretty much all features except text, video, and audio conferencing, okay? So if you select phone option, your screen will look something like this, okay? You will have option for call history, voicemail, heads up display, and conference. If you select call history, and select all calls, you can check your entire call history. It includes all missed calls, placed calls, received calls, okay? If you would like to call that person again, you can simply select phone and that call will be made to that number. If you'd like to add that person to your contact list, simply select add contact. If you'd like to send them a text, you can select text. And if you'd like to block the call, if it was a spam caller, you can simply block the number. Okay, so that's under all calls. 
if you select call recording you will be able to access so if you recorded a conversation you will be able to access all the recordings right here please remember tell us business connect keeps 100,000 recordings or three months worth of data, whichever comes first. So if you are not going to have 100,000 recordings, in that case, system will automatically start to delete your recordings uh, that were done three months ago, okay? So under call history, you can access all your call history and check your call recordings. If you select option for voicemail, you can select all voicemails and you can select the message, read the transcription and play the message right from here. Okay, so under voicemails, again, select the message, read transcription and play the message. If you'd like to call that person back, you can select phone and you can call them back as well. If you'd like to send them a text, you can do that from here as well. If you'd like to delete the messages, you can uh, delete one by one or you can simply select edit option here select all and select this delete button okay if you select hud that means heads up display this is a really important feature for users who transfer a lot of calls who need to monitor the calls so if you select hud you will have option to add extensions if you select add extension you can enter name of your colleagues so if I add my colleagues name I can add up to 100 users uh, so if you, you can just go on and add them right here so select add once you add their names you will be able to see their status right now both of them shows offline if they were online you will see their status as online if they were busy or on the call you will see that as well if their status was do not disturb you can do, uh, you can see that as well and if you select this pop out you can have so for reception or people who transfers a lot of calls you can have uh, you can add those users and you can put them on different screen this way you can continue to monitor your team okay so that's under HUD heads up display for users with uh, business connect enhanced or complete version you also have audio conferencing feature where you can invite up to 1000 users to an audio conference you can simply select dial in number uh, if customers are calling from different provinces you can give them their local number as well if they're calling from international there are a lot of international calling number as well so you can provide them that as well and you can invite them via text or email and when it's time you can simply select start the conference second option second feature it's text so all you have to do is select send new text you can enter 10 digit phone number select the number you can enter up to 10 phone numbers and you can send a text okay so select next and you can just send a text to whoever you need to okay third option is fax if you select fax and select this plus sign you are able to enter the fax number so for example this is a fax number I have the option to select the cover page so if I, uh, I can add my own cover page from my computer or if I don't like to add a cover page you can select none or there are a few templates here so you can select any of them if you add notes here those notes will be part of your cover page and you can attach documents from your computer and send now every single business connect phone number it is capable of sending a text fax and to receive a voicemail call okay so just go to fax select plus sign and you can send a fax if someone sent you a fax to your direct number you can get them under received as well and they will show up here as a pdf copy 
next two options are messaging and video conferencing okay so they are pretty similar to what Microsoft Teams is you can select message you can select the name of your colleague you can select their name you can send the, uh, you can send them a message that will be like a chat and you can sh even share documents with them as well uh, you can do uh, a video calling with them as well okay if you'd like to create a team company-wide team you can do that as well you can select create teams to and you can start conversations if you'd like to do a video conferencing simply select video you have option to start schedule or join a video conferencing you can host a video conference with up to 100 users where you can do remote control sessions where you can share the screen and you can record uh, the screen as well record the meetings as well okay okay uh, so those are the features with business connect there is an option here for more and option for customize so if you select customize you can customize what how your screen looks like so for example if you don't use messaging option you can select that and put it under more if you don't use contacts you can put it under more if you don't use facts you can put it under more this way your interface is much cleaner and has only features that you use most of the time let's move on to the settings if you select settings the second option you have it is custom uh, notifications and audio if you would like to answer your calls on cell phone app but don't want to answer them on your desktop app you can simply disable these options disable notifications this way you will get the calls they will come to your cell phone app but they won't come to a desktop app okay so again settings notifications and audio and you can disable notification for your desktop app and second important feature is under phone if you select call handling if you select edit you can adjust how you answer your individual calls so for example right now my apps and desk phones is ringing simultaneously for 20 seconds and then it goes to voicemail if I prefer to answer uh, uh, here I have options to select all at once or in order number of rings and whether it should be enabled or not enabled I can even add a cell phone number here and I can enable or disable the cell phone to receive calls as well okay and everyone's schedule is usually set up 24 hours if you prefer to create your custom schedule you can select edit schedule and you can decide your start and end day, uh, your um, office hours here and save them this way in after hours calls will go directly to uh, your after hours messaging okay so that's under call handling if you would like to create your custom voice message select edit system will already have everyone's voice messages recorded in default greeting it will say uh, this uh, you have reached voicemail for and system will pronounce your first and last name if you would like to customize your message simply select record and if you press this red button you can actually record your greetings okay so that was under settings now I want to show you very important feature and that is hidden under profile picture if you select your profile picture you can change your uh, your status from available to do not disturb if you do it on the, uh, if you change it to be do not disturb all calls will go directly to voicemail you simply select turn off and you can start getting calls so that's about changing your profile picture if you're not active on business connect your status will turn to invisible but that means um, you're just your status is invisible you'll still get calls okay this is really really important feature forward all calls if you select forward all calls you can decide where those calls should go to 
for example you are on vacation and you would like to have your calls go to a custom greeting for one week and when you are back you would like to start getting calls to, uh, automatically to your phone lines so here you can record your custom greeting by selecting record option and you can specify start and end date what that means is I can have this custom re uh, recording start right now and if I select this date to be on 31st at 8 p.m. at this particular time that recording will stop. This way you, when you are back from vacation you don't have to uh, you don't have to re-record your voicemail greeting it's already uh, your custom greeting already stopped and you can start getting your calls uh, just like regular okay. Um, if you are part of a queue call, if you are part of a queue uh, where you are getting main company calls or reception calls and right now you are in important meeting, you would like to get your office line calls, calls made to your extension directly, but you don't want to answer company calls, you can uncheck queue calls option. Okay, and if you need to sign out, you select sign out option. Okay, so again, you select your profile picture, you can change your status from here, you can forward your calls to custom greeting. Sorry, I forgot to show something else. So you can also forward your calls to your coworker while you are away. You can select the extension of your colleague and you can specify start and end date as well. If you'd like to forward calls to external number, you can do that as well, okay? And the last option on the app, there is a plus sign on top right. If you select that, you will be able to uh, take new actions. So send a new mass message, create new team, start a video conference meeting, um, schedule one, you can start a conference call, send new text, new facts, etc. Okay.